Welcome back everybody. Here I'm just going to teach you some more things. I just opened the Notepad++ and here I'm just going to the details about PHP. Before we just actually make the edit link, I'm just going to the access button and here in this page I just want to add the access link, okay? So here I just want to add the access button. I just want to add the access here, okay? At that place or there maybe no matter I'm just going to denote pad plus plus and simply just typing here in the jumbotron the edit button okay so I'm just saving that and just adding another a href uh, oh, not a bad spelling by the way and here I'm just covering the mistake okay now here what I'm just typing edit okay now just go here and just mention the same page okay or I think the preferred thing is the new form dot PHP save that now what will happen if I just click on edit button I'm just going to the browser to check the result if I just uh, refresh that and I just click on the edit button now I am inside the new form dot PHP okay now just adding something like loss of BDN which belongs to the bootstrap and here I'm just adding another space and just typing VDN and the warning okay save that and just check that refresh now this is the edit button really simple what I'm just going to do here I am just simply saving that and actually here or I think the preferred thing is I'm just cutting the jumbotron as well because here I have to use the ID for deleting, okay, for creating, okay, for actually updating, which is actually called editing as well, and the simple selecting. So I'm just cutting this jumbotron, okay, and just simply pasting this jumbotron inside the echo. Okay, it doesn't matter that we have just pasted the jumbotron because this is looking perfect still. Just simply save that and go to the browser to check the result. Now refresh that now nothing new has happened here as you know that we're just getting only one result in this raw in, in this uh, while loop so this is perfect but here I'm just adding the ID as well so I can add this get ID or I can directly add the raw by, by, by using the raw so I'm just adding a question sign means I just want to create a new variable here I'm just typing edit ID equals to now what is the ID I'm just using I can use both okay I can use the get okay or I can use the um, the directly by using the ROS okay I have two choices I'm just using the ROS ID okay it means I'm just I'm just getting the ID from the database really simple to understand now just save that if I just go to the browser and refresh that down this way if I just click on edit button now I'm in the new form page but here in the edit ID actually I have the edit ID 2 here okay everything is perfect now so what I'm just going to do more there I'm just adding some more things inside the button or actually not inside the button after the button just simply or I think that is perfect no need to type any other thing because here we just mentioned the name by the way I just thought that I should add the name or any other thing well I can add that if it will look good then no matter so I'm just adding the link here actually not link the name here name save that and go to the browser refresh that now edit Shazeb Kamal okay that is the thing which I just want and in this way I'm just getting the big sized button so now what I'm just going to do more I'm just simply going to the new form.php and here in this page what I'm just doing just simply opening the if else anywhere I'm just opening the if else here after the dark type HTML okay now and then what I'm just going to do is actually adding the include link okay I'm just including the include slash uh, oh, the spelling mistakes okay slash db.php okay ph adding the db.php it means the database is really important if you just want to get any result from the database so by the way what I'm just going to do here let's just simply call the if else and inside this I'm just typing if 
is set okay uh oh not in the variable way in a simple function way I'm just adding something get edit ID okay so where is the edit ID you know that uh, if I just go to the index.php oh sorry not index the detail.php here I'm just sending the edit ID which actually the ID of the row okay let's just save that and go to this new form back and here I'm just typing if I got the edit ID then what will happen I'm just typing all the things first the name I'm just typing name okay and space and is equals to and here I'm just adding post and inside the post I'm just typing the name okay uh, actually there is a wrong thing I just did before that I have to add the while as well okay I just forgot to do that by the way so here uh oh again I just forgot one more thing by the way edit SQL before you know that before in the while we have to create the query so I'm just creating the query here the select all from from comments okay where the ID equals to dollar get edit ID that is perfect and then here obviously you know that we have to run the query so how to run the query simply add in a space and type run SQL and is equals to an MY SQL I Q U R Y okay that is perfect and then inside that I'm just adding the C O double N and adding the dollar E D I T S Q L and after that I'm just going to the while area and here I'm just typing raws okay here I'm just adding is equal to and just typing M Y S Q L I fetch a sock and then this is a function you know to run any raw uh, fetch catching any raw or any uh, yep any raw from the database or multiple raws just simply type run SQL okay save that and here I'm adding another things I'm just typing echo sorry not echo now the name okay so I just got the comments table and I'm inside the comments table and which ID I just selected which actually has the edit ID okay which actually in the matching of edit ID so for example 10 2 or 1 or any other so here name I'm just typing dollar raws and here I'm just typing simply the name and this name is coming from the database okay so I'm just adding I'm just creating a raw name and I'm just adding that name with the name raw okay then pressing an enter and simply typing another thing the after the name what is this actually the email address so email address I'm just going to the browser and checking about that here email address is actually directly the email address in the database so I'm just typing here email I can type anything here because here I'm not actually adding the database thing but here now inside the rows I'm adding the database thing the email address okay that is perfect and then the next thing is after the email the subject the gender and the okay the subject and gender we'll talk about the skills later on okay so subject gender and the country so come here and add the subject and obviously you know that raws and here inside this just type subject and then cover this and type gender and just cover that dollar raws and here I'm just typing the gender okay now next is the after the skills the country and the comment so come here back and here I'm just typing the country and is equals to and here I'm just typing the dollar raw and then the country okay in this way I'll get the country and then the comments here inside that I'm just typing the comments which I'm just getting from the database okay you know that we are just editing the thing it means the data is already stored in the database by the way now the other thing which I just have to do for example I have to add the else of this if okay here I'm just adding the else else and what should be inside this else all these variables okay but the problem is that 
when I just didn't click or actually we didn't get the edit ID then how we can get all these things you know that they are coming from the database and when we get the ID and ID is set then we are running the while loop so here I'm not running the while loop so how I can directly add the raws so I'm not getting the raws actually I'm just simply getting the empty variables now that is perfect looking perfect working in a perfect way the last thing is this so by the way what I'm just going to do I'm just adding the value okay with every input field here I'm just typing the value attribute okay I can add the value attribute anywhere in the tag so here I'm just typing the value what is the value I'm just putting I'm just adding the PHP echo and dollar the name okay inside the name this is really simple what I'm just teaching you inside the attribute value we are just adding the name with this value for example now the logic is really simple for example there is something inside the variable the raw name okay in this way we will get the value of name or if the name or if just we didn't click on edit ID or we didn't set the edit ID with the URL that means we are just adding the empty value that means nothing really simple and really easy to understand I'm just copying this value attribute and just pasting that here in the email address and here I'm just updating the variable only in this way and just adding the same thing with the subject and here I'm just typing the subject okay just doing the same with the okay this is a little bit harder to do the same with the select attributes or select tags actually I'll do this but right now I'm just going to the comments area how to add the thing in the comment just add the there isn't anything any need of the value attribute because we have to add any text if you just want to add any value we have to add anything inside the text area we can't add as a value so here I'm just directly adding the comments inside the text area let's just save this go to the browser and simply refresh that okay click on edit with Shazib Kamal and I'm just sending the okay first of all the Shazib Kamal the name and I'm looking for a job and actually I'm not getting the comments here you, you can see that there is some kind of error I'm getting and there's some kind of error I'm getting so in line number 49 actually they are just telling us that I just made something wrong there in line number 49 the email okay I just typed email address and I just mentioned the email only there so that should be corrected and then the second thing is actually I just typed comment I just typed comments okay with s but if I just go to the browser then what is here here is comments as well so what is the problem okay I just type simply comment not comments I have to add the s as well and just have to remove this double quotes now save that refresh the back now I'm just getting the perfect thing the email address and all the things okay so now I just corrected all the things but the thing is that how to get the countries or how to get the select tags this is another typical question I'll teach you that in next class about how to manage the select tags and how to manage the skills it means the checkboxes we'll learn some things in next class stay tuned and goodbye